Right, quickly. Well, as quick as I can with one one hand each. Um, so here's the uh, archers, as we know, going on there. No bother. So these uh, recesses here, where you put a screw through, because you've got to screw it onto the metal. Right? Uh, so what I was going to do, because you'd have an unsightly screw there, is get the uh, number plate black plastic you basically you push over the top so it hides the surface of the the screw head um you still would have seen them but not as bad as looking at a screw so anyway i've come up with an even better plan so rather than carbon wrapping these now ready to put them on what i have found is when i put them up against the uh the arch you see all the arches flat here um and obviously them recesses are flat as well and because I'm not going to be following the arch like that, therefore not having any gap, I'm actually putting it higher. So it's it, it's basically it's hard to, to show you there, but the, that's the basically the flat bit there. But I'm going plus of that. I'm going above, yeah, on on this curved bit, which is obviously going to hide this rust and also not make the arches stick out as as much um because they are quite wide um so by putting them up it's going to bring it further in but the problem is in a nutshell um it's going to be flat at the bottom there following the contour but then it starts to go off the contour as it goes around the arch like so now no gap there but then when you come down to here there's there's a gap um I don't know if you can see it there. There, you can see it more there. There's a gap all the way through, so that would look pretty. Um, now, what's causing that gap is the back of this, because that's flat. There, yeah. You can't push in to follow the contour of the car. So, what I'm going to have to do is cut this off. So then it goes flush up against the bodywork. Yeah. Now, then I'll be left with a hole on this side, which you'd see. So that's why I can't carbon wrap it yet. Because so I was thinking, well, I'll get that cut off, put that in place first, and then I'll carbon wrap over the top. But then I was thinking, well, if I'm going to do that, then I might as well put the smaller screws I can in and then fill this gap fill it with a um, you know a flexible poly filler sand it down so it's smooth and following the contour therefore you're not going to see these unsightly holes at all it's going to be smooth and then i'll wrap over the top of it so it'll just look like one piece uh, rather than these you know unsightly so that's my plan anyway so tomorrow get these screwed on fill these sand them down so they're nice and smooth following the contour and then wrap over the top and then i'll have no gaps at all around the bodywork happy days hope you'll sleep now my lights have gone out oh, yeah charge my buddy yeah right so i'll um i'm in my pajamas here you know i'm in a tab and all yeah so i'll catch up with you tomorrow and uh, see how we progress with that little escapade there Ciao for now, good night. Hi guys, the boot quest continues. What have I done so far? I've rubbed that down, I've filled it, sanded it down so it's nice and smooth. Little hole there, but you'll not see that because remember this is getting carbon fibre wrapped. Uh, just up until above there, so it'll go across yeah, and finish there on both sides. So underneath, on the inside I've painted it all black, um, metal paint, a bit like hammerite, so that'll protect it from any further rusting. I'll put my flashlight on here, so as you can see in here, um, where, the where the metal has rusted away, you can see obviously one of the mountain points there, so there's loads of um, metal gone uh, from around there. It should look like that, although that's rusted, all the metal's still in place, yeah, as compared to that. So what I intend to do is use my um, um, black silicon filler uh, and basically make up the difference. So I'm going to put silicon filler in here now 
Um, get me a spatula if you like, make this nice and smooth. Once that's done, I can then uh, wait till it's dry and then again put some paint over the top and uh, paint the metal here as well. Um, that's just so I can get some good adhesion on the uh, on the wrap so it won't peel off. So that's why I need to paint it, give it a good surface to bond to. So that's my next part. Uh, fill this, get it nice and level. Um, wait for this to to dry and then I can uh, put a coat of paint over the top and then it's ready for um, carbon fibre wrap. Happy days. Have the remainder of a good Friday if I don't catch you beforehand. Right, anyway. Yeah, where am I at? Still here, Brandon. So I've filled it. I know it doesn't look the neatest of things. It's quite difficult uh, when you're putting this much silicon on uh, to make up a gap. I say it doesn't really matter. It's only to make a bond for the um, carbon wrap to gun on. So it might not look pretty, but it's filled up the gap, uh, which is what it's intended to do. So um, let this dry. It'll take a while now. Uh, probably come back to it in a couple of hours, um, and then I'll do the painting, and then. Who knows, maybe this evening yeah, I may be able to get the wrap on. Yeah, I don't want to do it when it's too wet, like I want to make sure it is nice and dry, so might be tomorrow. Anyway, all will be revealed tomorrow for the finished product. Yeah, yeah, ciao for now. Happy days, lo and behold I'm back again, there we go, right so I painted the top and underneath, which is happy days, it's just waiting to dry now, um, yeah probably wondering why am I taking that much time and effort to do underneath, well it's going to look a bit unsightly because uh, you know when when it's shut like that, obviously that'll have the uh, the carbon stripe across. Um, that's fine. But then when you can't open it, um, you know, and it lifts up past eye level, you're going to see underneath there. And as I said before, it didn't look very good. Like it was just rusted a bit, so I couldn't just do the top bit. I had to do underneath as well. So that's why I'm taking the time and effort to try and sort this bit out more for aesthetics and uh, that would put me off buying the car if I lifted that and saw all that rusted underneath so that's why I'm doing it um, simple as really the only other option would be to uh, buy a new tailgate I ain't gonna go through that expense uh, happy days so as my mate Joey once said never eat a Twix when it's raining so there you go